Spotify responds to protests by some music stars and others by announcing it will act to combat COVID disinformation. The streaming platform Spotify says it's working to add a warning to any podcast that includes a discussion about COVID after a row about misinformation. The musicians Johnny Mitchell and Neil Young both removed their music from Spotify in protest over its work with the American podcaster Joe Rogan, who has interviewed vaccine sceptics. And he's done it. Rafa Nadal wins a record 21st Grand Slam with victory at the Australian Open. France says up to 60 militants have been killed in Burkina Faso in operations involving local and French troops. At least 2,000 people have died in jihadist attacks in the country since 2015, when militants linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group started conducting raids from neighboring Mali. Protests over COVID-related restrictions have brought the centre of the Canadian capital, Ottawa, to a standstill for a second day. Thousands of truck drivers frustrated by a vaccine mandate for crossing the border into the United States have been leading the protests, holding banners and blocking roads. Portugal's governing Socialist Party has won a clear victory in a snap general election. Provisional results show they won around 42% of the vote. The Prime Minister, Antonio Costa, said they'd secured an absolute majority in Parliament. That election was called in November after Parliament rejected the minority government's budget. A survey by an Afghan news agency says the number of women working as journalists in the country has halved since the Taliban seized power in August. The Pajok news agency said one TV channel, which used to employ 15 women, now has none. Many female reporters say they left their jobs for their own safety.